Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to add a click track to the music or voice recordings that you are working with in Audacity. Let's get started. So once you have Audacity open, in order to add a click track, you're going to want to go up to Generate and then Rhythm Track. It used to be called Click Track, but now uh, in the newer version of Audacity, you'll see Generate and then Rhythm Track. So you're going to click on this. So this is going to allow you to add something that sounds like a metronome that has a steady pulse as you create your recordings. So looking at the options we have for the rhythm track, we have the tempo, and that's beats per minute. So 120 beats per minute, that would be two pulses per second. So if you want one pulse per second, that would be 60. So beats per bar are how many beats are per measure. So in this case, it's four beats, so that would be a 4-4 four, four time signature. You can then adjust other things like the swing amount. It asks for the number of bars, so if there are uh, one bar, it would give you four pulses in this case, right? Um, so if you want two bars, that would give you eight pulses and so on. Now, when you adjust this, you could uh, I would recommend making it longer, and then you can shorten it later. You can always add additional click tracks to the rest of your piece, even if uh, you didn't have it there. So let's say 16. And then, of course, you can uh, adjust a couple of the other things, uh, the sound that you would like, and so forth. Now, if you once you press OK, it's going to add the click track. And so you can see it shows up. The first pulse of every group of four is going to be a strong pulse. You can hear that here once I play it. Good. So now let's say uh, I needed the click track to be uh, a little faster or slower. Well, in this case, I'd have to delete this. You could uh, either Control Z will undo your last action. Or if you need to delete the click track, you can just go here to the X and delete it here. So let's go back up to generate. And so let's go to the rhythm track. And so now instead of having to keep doing that back and forth, if you're not quite sure what rhythm you want, you can go ahead and I'd make your adjustments. Let's say I wanted faster, so 120. And then let's say I wanted to preview this. So that gives you an idea how what it's going to sound like before you add it to your Audacity file. So now I'm going to press OK. And so now it's at a faster pulse than what I had before. In order to record over this click track, you want to make sure that you have your recording settings set up correctly. So you want to have it uh, with the microphone that you're using and then coming out of the speakers. So in order for me to hear this, I want to have my headphones on. And I'm going to go ahead and just speak over it in rhythm. So I'm going to go ahead and press record. One, two, three, four. Now you notice when I press record, what happens is it went to the end. So in order to avoid that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete that track. So in order to avoid that, what I need to do is I need to actually add a track. So tracks add new, and I'm going to go with a stereo track. And then once I have that stereo track added, now I want to select it. So to select the track, you want to click right here. And then now I have that track selected. So when I hit record, it's going to record at the beginning of that track instead of the end of the click track. So let me try that again. One, two, three, four. So you can see I put that uh, with the pulse with my speaking. So now when I play this, let's see if it's together. One, two, three, so you notice the rhythm is not quite uh, exact with the click track. Now, uh, that's because uh, whenever you record, there's a little bit of a delay. So what I need to do in order to move that so that it lines up with the click track is I need to use the time shift tool. And so that's up here at the top. So I'm just going to press that. And then now I can drag this so that it is right where I need it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so I can see more. So you want to have that strong part of the sound right with the rhythm. So there we have that. Now, if I try to play this, it should be more in time. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that gives you an idea. Again, I was just speaking in time. Uh, of course, the number one would go at the beginning. So let me try that. One, two, three, four. There we go. So that's better. So now let's say you needed to add additional click tracks to the end of a piece. What you can do is go ahead and then just generate another click track. Or you can duplicate the click track you already have. So in order to duplicate, just select what you the click track you want to duplicate so I have it selected and then just push control D that will duplicate the click track so now I've got another one down here and then if I want to then move that click track at the end of the other one I can go ahead and do that I'm going to go ahead and collapse this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing so now I want this to go at the end of that so I go to the time shift tool and then I can just drag oh I have both of them selected so I don't want that I just want this selected so now that's selected and then drag and I can drag it up to the top and now you'll see that there'll be a dark line in between two. That means they're exactly lined up. And so now I've got those lined up so that if I go to the end here, they're going to be lined up. Perfect. So now we have a click track. I was able to uh, add that click track. If you want to delete anything, just go up to the selection tool and then you can just select it and then go to delete. And so I was able to delete that. Now, when you go to export this, you're most likely not going to want to export the click track. So uh, you can go ahead and then just delete this. Uh, and then to do that again, you would just click the X. And then when you go to export, you go to file, export, 
and then you can export as an mp3 or wave file now if you wanted to have the click track then of course make sure that you have the click track there before you export it one last thing if you have a song that you would like to put a click track to that song will need to be in perfect time for you to do this. Uh, so if you have a song, you all you would do is just the same thing we did here, where you have the music, and then you would just go to generate, click track, and then you would need to know what the tempo is of the song that you're adding the click track to. And this is if you want to record on top of it or things like that. Um, but sometimes you might have that and want to put a click track on top of music you already have. But again, that music needs to be perfectly in time. So you now know how to customize the metronome or the click track to the recordings that you are working with in Audacity. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Audacity tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.